It is Vlogmas Day 18. Cruising right along, everyone. It is one week until Christmas. And if you hear a loud noise in the background, it's because we've got the bottle dryer going. Anyways, we haven't vlogged in a minute. I gotta hurry up and put on this freaking makeup because we're in nap time zone. And la last day, yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling yesterday last day. So last day. <laughs> Uh, I, Lucian only napped for 30 minutes per nap, so it was not ideal. I gotta get these Christmas gifts wrapped, because we're gonna go meet my mother-in-law and my niece for lunch today. But, uh, we're gonna go to lunch, and I think my mother-in-law wants to go up to Shields, which I've never been to before. I guess it's like a sporting goods store or something. I don't know, but we're going up there. We're gonna see, I think my um, my niece, she loves like Nike and Uggs and all that kind of stuff. So I, she may be taking her up there to get her some Christmas stuff. But um, I, I need to wrap my, so my niece, this is my oldest niece, she's 12. She's super into hair stuff, makeup stuff. So I got her some hair stuff and then and I got her some lip gloss and chapstick and you know, that kind of stuff. But, but hopefully she likes it. I remember liking anything at that age because you know, you're not old enough to have a job yet. So you're just excited to get things that you can play around with. So did your, if you celebrate Christmas or you did when you were growing up, did Santa wrap your presents? Like did you unwrap presents from Santa? Or were they all laid out when you come downstairs? Like, and all the presents are already out. They're not wrapped, nothing like that. Because I didn't even know it was a thing to have presents, sorry, wrapped, not out, but wrapped. The people open wrapped Santa gifts. Like, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought everybody came down Christmas morning and had all the presents out. My parents, I think wrapped, we did wrapped stuff with my parents' stuff and my grandparents and all that. But Santa, like that was, it was all out. And one year I got a jungle gym. Like, you know, one of those step two, you know that brand step two, it's like plastic jungle gym kind of stuff. Got this huge step two jungle gym with a slide, but it was snowing out and cold, so we couldn't put it outside. So for an entire winter, I had a jungle gym in my room and my room wasn't very big. It was really small. So it was literally like my bed pushed up against the wall and then a jungle gym in my room and that's all that could fit in there. But it was so much fun. It had like a little house at the bottom and you could go in there and like I'd play house in there. And then I'd put my bean bag at the bottom of the slide, which was basically running into my wall, but it was okay. Cause it was like, there was like this much space between it. So I could still, you know, slide down onto the bean bag. Anyways, it was the time of my life. That was like one Christmas I really remember. But yeah, so that's, that. also, I need to know. Did your family leave out carrots for Rudolph or no? Just cookies for Santa or neither. Maybe you didn't leave out cookies for Santa and you were like, you know what? You've had enough cookies. You can go to all the other houses. Let me know in the comments. Cause we did carrots for the reindeer and cookies for Santa. But Dallas didn't do the reindeer situation. He just, they just did cookies for Santa. I think we're gonna do both. Can't forget the reindeer, y'all. Oh, we gotta get ready for Christmas. I'll tell you what we got Lucian. We did get him a couple of toys and like fun things, but his main gift, we got him a big old playpen. Cause we have a pack and play, but it's really small and he likes it. But I think he gets, he doesn't like being restricted in there. Like I think he's gonna like the playpen better cause it's gonna, he's gonna have way more space. So he won't even feel like he's in, you know, a pin. And then eventually we're gonna have the basement. So right now our basement, it's finished. It has carpet and everything. It's perfect for kids. Um, but we have all of our HO7S stuff down there. And it's getting to the point now where we can't really order more products. And we can't, or like some new styles of products and we don't have the space for it. So I guess it is good news that HO7S is growing and we're gonna have to get a new spot for it. Um, but I love doing everything in house because it's easier to keep track of everybody here, like take care of Lucian and be able to pack up orders and write out notes and do the whole thing, like work here. But um, we're going to have to find a space 
like a warehouse space of some sort. And we need the basement to be our home and for our family and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's exciting because HO7S is growing. It also makes me nervous, but you know what? Like if you don't take risks, then you never really know what could have come about. So we're gonna do it and we're gonna go look at spaces. But I love doing it here because it was like a whole ritual. Like we'd turn on scary movies and make a bunch of coffee and just go to town shipping out orders and writing out notes. And it was just me and Dallas the whole time. I mean, Dallas and I will still pretty much do everything, but we're gonna definitely need some help. Especially if we wanna keep getting items to customers as fast as we possibly can. Uh, we're gonna need a space and we probably need to hire some people. So. It is what it is, but I'm excited for growth, so. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna brush my teeth and stuff, and then I'll meet you downstairs because we're gonna wrap these gifts. So I'll see ya when I see ya. Okay, so I'm going to, let's do this. I'm gonna put, I have this box. I'm gonna put some white tissue paper at the bottom first, and then I also have this stuff, this kind of, I don't know how to describe that stuff. But I'm gonna try to make do with the tissue paper. So I thought about just putting, okay, I got this whole box of all these little deep conditioners. It's like a mask topia because my niece said she didn't have any hair masks and that she likes this brand. So I figured I'd grab these for her and it's got three little sample things. Uh, but I thought about opening this because I feel like it's gonna look cooler if everything is kind of open and placed in there. You know what I mean? Like this is a, oh good, this one's already in a box. And then the soul food mask. And then the cure mask. I love, I've been using the cure shampoo and conditioner and I really like it. Okay. Then I also got this one, the mini mention. This one has another soul food mask. And then the wizard and perk up dry shampoo. The two soul foods I'm gonna put on the end. And then I've got the wizard and I got this one. Brooklyn Bombshell, this one's the blowout spray. But I have some of these chapsticks, these EOS chapsticks. I'm gonna put these in here too. They kind of go with the color scheme, honestly. And then I'm just gonna stick, like I have this little ColourPop lip gloss I'm gonna put in there. So here is the final result of my 12 year old niece's Christmas present. And I feel like maybe I went a little overboard, but I feel like this age is so, it's just, it's so difficult. And so I hope this makes her feel good and she can pamper herself and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is what I got my niece. I'm all excited. I can't wait for her to open it. So we're putting the lid on and I feel like it all matches. Like the whole colorful box and then you open it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait for her to open it. Okay. And then I'll show you what I got my mother-in-law and my mom when I go to wrap my mom's gift like closer to Christmas. Oh no, this came undone again. We're gonna stay positive. I wish Neems was down here to hear that joke. Oh my gosh, no. All right. There it is. There we go. Boom. Done deal. All right, hey everyone, we are on our way to my mother-in-law's house and uh, we're gonna go to lunch and do a little shopping and I'll see ya when I see ya. Oh! Look at that boy. He looked at it and was like, ah! Oh, <laughs> he was like, that's me. Nishi! on this day 19 we're freaking freezing in here what is the temperature set to here we are it is vlogmas day 19 we are officially going to clean up this house this house is a total disaster with like a christmas tree box out all of my decoration boxes are still out i need to take them downstairs we have a whole other tree to put up i don't know where i'm putting it up yet and i want to have this all cleaned up and put together by the time my grandma gets here today at 3 30. <laughs> And we've just been, I don't know, we've just been busy. Yesterday, we were at Dallas's mom most of the day. We went and ate, we went and shopped. And then we didn't get home till about 6.30 and then it was Lucian's bedtime. So, so we've kind of just been busy and running around with our heads cut off. So now we're gonna try to get this cleaned up, get everything put together and hope for the best. We're gonna do the best we can. 
that, that's what I'm trying to say. But we're exchanging gifts with my grandma today. And uh, that's, that's the main plan today. And I'm getting this house cleaned up, which is probably for the best because it'll be nice and clean and look great and festive for the next week until we take it all down. But whatever. So these aren't heavy. So I can take these down. I have one heavy one that I'm gonna need Dallas to take down because Google has zero upper body strength. Okay, if this is empty. Oh, I needed to take the direction. Hopefully I don't knock anything over on my way down. Okay. All right, we're gonna attempt to get this tree up. This is also my Valerie tree. So, uh oh. I don't know if this is gonna fit well over here. I'm gonna have to fluff this whole thing. And I don't know where I'm plugging it in yet. Okay, I don't think this is gonna reach. Oh, it is gonna reach. Hallelujah. Okay. I almost didn't do this tree this year because clearly it's late, but we used this tree for our Halloween tree. So I figured we might as well put it up because we're gonna use this through February. Okay, we're starting here and I need to put on my star. So I'm hoping my star fits. And it fits. Okay, now I'm gonna put ornaments on, but I don't know where they're at because they're in the box that I already stored away, which is just, just perfect. I don't know, we're not gonna be picky with it. We just need to get this thing decorated and move on with our lives. I'm gonna keep working on this and then hopefully, hopefully when I see ya, this is done and we finished it quickly. I totally failed at filming while my grandma and my mom were here, but I failed at filming because Lucian just started losing his mind. He is teething really bad. He's actually already in bed because he was so miserable. It was just bad. I thought it was gonna be a nightmare when my mom and my grandma got here. They got here and he was happy and he played and it just, it was a nice little break. So um, anyways, we exchanged gifts, we chatted, it was a nice time. And now, honestly, I'm glad they came over because it kinda gave me a deadline to get everything cleaned up and, you know, put away and all ready for the holiday. So we have our tree, I'll show you. Here it is in all of its glory, our black and white tree with the black and white peppermint situation, the lanterns, the branchy trees, the whole thing. But it feels good to be done. I think we have one more thing I wanted to do. My stepmom got us this little mini Harry Potter tree. I'm gonna, sh I'll show you, it's in Lucian's room right now, so I can't show you right now. But I thought about putting it up in Lucian's room. So I don't know when we're gonna do that, but we also need to make cookies. We have a lot to do. Oh, we gotta get our stuff for the relish tray is what my mom calls it. I call it a pickle tray. Uh, if you know, then you know I make the pickle tray every year for Christmas Eve because I cannot stand sweet pickles on a pickle tray. Like I can't do it. I, I will not be disappointed by a stray sweet pickle. But every time I mouth waters for a dill pickle and I bite into a sweet pickle, my soul dies. Uh, we're making dinner right now. Dallas is putting her factor meals in. And what am I, what I get? The vegan mushroom masala? Is that what I'm? That looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. And then what'd you make? Oh, the veggie, roasted veggie pesto tortellini situation. This is what mine looks like. Gosh, it smells so good. This looks like um, like a risotto. It's so good. These green beans are so good. Mm, more green bean. Hey everyone, it is Vlogmas day 21 and four, four days till Christmas? Yeah, math. <laughs> it is four days till Christmas and uh, we are currently doing the unthinkable right now. We are going to Costco four freaking days before Christmas. I don't even know what has possessed us, but here we go. We are gonna make it happen. My mom and my stepdad are at home right now watching Lucian. Well, he's sleeping, but when he wakes up. So they're at the house right now babysitting and mom and dad are out. We're going out on the town. <laughs> AKA we're just running errands, which is super boring. But we're going to Costco and we need to stop by Whole Foods. So I'll see you at Costco. I, <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare, I already know it. I already know it. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I'm mentally preparing myself as we speak. <laughs> Olives. Pickles. We're here at Whole Foods. We're going in. We're gonna grab a little one. 
We got everything we needed for Christmas Eve. Well, no, first cookies, then Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day. We have people over. I think we got everything we need. If we forgot something, whatever. We're just not gonna do it because I'm I'm not go I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Costco was ridiculous. Is that the busiest you've ever seen Costco? I think so. Yeah. The line wasn't bad. That was the only saving grace i think was the the line wasn't bad they had a lot of people working but the amount of people with carts in there it was my actual nightmare i think that was my actual like i thought i was having a nightmare anyways we're on our way home now to go see little lucian and see if he's being a good boy or not it was so funny my mom sent me a video or my stepdad one of them sent me a video of uh lucian is playing in his room and they have my video on my vlog miss video <laughs> Usually he watches Miss Rachel, but he was totally into watching my vlog. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, we're back. And, oh, and also back in our robe. We're currently in Lucian's nursery. I wanted to do something a little festive in Lucian's bedroom. I know it's four days till Christmas, but whatever. We're gonna do it anyways, because my stepmom gave me this year a bunch of ornaments I'm about to show you. I'm gonna do an ornament haul. And if you've been around here for a while, then you know my stepmom. She's part of this Hallmark Ornament Club. A couple of Vlogmas ago, we went to this lady's house. She, they're all part of this ornament club. And um, we went to her house and she has, I don't even know how many Christmas trees she has. I think there were two years in a row we went to this house. And it is, you just gotta go back and look at it if you didn't see it, but the trees are amazing. She has so many Hallmark ornaments. So anyways, my stepmom's also into Hallmark ornaments. And usually every year she gets us some spooky Hallmark ornaments. And so she gave me this whole bag, y'all, of spooky ornaments. Eventually we'll, we'll have some little trees and do different themes. But anyways, I wanted to show you what, what she got us. And well, first and foremost, she got us this little Harry Potter tree. And so I thought we'd set this up in Lucian's room on this little table he has. But I also wanted to show you some of the ornaments she got us. But my stepmom seriously hooked us up this year. So we got this one, this Nightmare Before Christmas, like a Funko Pop thing. And, it's, but it's an ornament. So it's like a Funko Pop ornament with Jack Skellington and Zero. This is so so cute. Jack Skellington to Santa going down a chimney. This is seriously so freaking cute. I love this so much. We also got this Nightmare Before Christmas one. It's got the mayor driving the whole, you know. Okay, Lucian's starting to lose his mind a little bit, so we're going to go quickly. We also got these, like this little Harry Potter one. It's a real keeper, just Christmas tree ornament. Harry Potter one. We won't take that one out because we're very quickly. Okay, here we go. Also this Haunted Mansion one. This is a coffin. This is so cool. It says Haunted Mansion coffin. Look at this. Wait, is it not gonna go? Oh, it needs to be connected. I get it. Okay. I'm um, also got the Madame Leota, but this one, well, we'll see it later because I'm gonna put this on my tree. I'm not gonna take this one out, but we also got this Oogie Boogie one and this other Haunted Mansion one. I'm so excited to see the Haunted Mansion ones all lit up. We got all three of the Sanderson sisters. My stepmom, I'm telling you, she hooked us up with the spooky ornaments this year. Oh, wait, <laughs> my bad. So all the Sanderson sisters. So got this one, this Haunted Mansion itself. This is a tree topper, kind of like my Hogwarts castle, but it's the Haunted Mansion. These make me nervous as tree toppers. So I'll probably just put it on a shelf somewhere or uh, maybe my buffet table will turn that into the Haunted Mansion when we get more ornaments. Um, but yeah, that is... Hey! Do you wanna come here? He's screaming. Come up, come up, brother. Hi. Did you see your Christmas book? I think he's hungry. Did you see your Christmas uh, book? Can we off? Yes, please. Did you, did you feed him when you woke up? Uh, no. Cause it had only been an hour. What, what, did you hear me in here? Having all the fun? What's that bag? What's in there? What's in there for you? Can you eat my hair? Okay, let me, let me tie it back. 
Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. I constantly have to tie my hair back. I always have a hair tie. And I am terrified of this. What do they call it? This hair tourniquet is what they call it. Where babies get hair wrapped around their fingers and it cuts out the circulation. It terrifies me. Mm -hmm. What are you taking in? Yeah, you want me to feed him? Do you need dad to feed you? You gonna go have your baba? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, go to dada. Mm -hmm. I just really quickly, while Dallas is eating lotion, I want to get out this tree because, oh, wait, did I show this tree yet? This Harry Potter tree. It is so cute. I think I showed it. We're going to get this freaking thing. I'm like, let's set it up during his feed and then nothing is opening. This is so cute. This is perfect for Lucian's little room. I'm going to plug this in and see what it does. Oh, I thought maybe it made noise. It doesn't, but the castle at the top lights up, which is super cute. I need to like kind of cover this guy here. Now we can hang the little ornaments on it. Everyone, it is another day in 2023 paradise. <laughs> it is Vlogmas day 22, three days until Christmas, two days until Christmas Eve. I feel like for once, in my entire life i'm somewhat ready the only thing i have left to do and i have two days to do it i have to make some cookies because i'm bringing these mint like they're kind of like thin mints so to bring these thin mint-esque type of cookies to my mom's house for christmas eve so uh what were we gonna talk about today oh today right now i'm going to get my nails done and i am conflicted on whether or not to get Christmas nails or just wintry nails or whatever my usual nails. So anyways, we're pulling up to my nail salon now. Oh, I'm like really, really, really early. That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're leaving my nail place right now. It's packed in this parking lot. I'm sure tis the season, right? It's two days before Christmas Eve. Um, but we are leaving and my nails, y'all gotta see these. So we went with something that could be holiday-ish and New Year's-ish and still dark, but so pretty. I love these. They're like glittery and black with this chrome. I don't know. They look really pretty. I'm in love with them. Anyways, we're going home. I'll see ya when I see ya. Good morning, everyone. It was Vlogmas Day. What is it? 23? Anyways, we're eating cookies for breakfast because that's who we are right now. So it's the day before Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> and we're gonna make some cookies. Finally. <laughs> officially. I have this Baby Cakes Covers, the Classics cookbook. And this is all gluten-free and vegan uh, sweets and stuff. So donuts, cookies, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but this is one of my favorite recipes, this thin mint recipe. Seriously, it is always a hit every single year. People ask to take some home. So I think I'm gonna make two batches. And I freaking love these. And I got this cookbook back when I was doing a lot of gluten-free vegan baking. And even though I'm not vegan anymore, I still use a ton of recipes from this book because they're just so good. Anyways, I'm gonna try not to talk too loud because Lucian is currently taking a nap and this is the only time we got. All right, what are we starting with? Flour, sugar, so here's the flour I think, I hope. The flour is in. Flour, sugar, so two cups of sugar. All right, sugar is going in. Okay, next up is cocoa powder, and I feel like cocoa powder, somehow, some way, every single time of cocoa powder, I get it everywhere. I don't know how it happens. It's just, it always happens. Two teaspoons baking soda. Teaspoons, Jade, not tablespoons, teaspoons. Pay attention, ghoul. I have my skull, my cute little Mr. Skeleton little teaspoon set that I got from, where did I get this from this year? Got this from Joanne's, that's right. Okay, I have to whisk this together. Whisking, add coconut oil, applesauce, and vanilla. The thing with gluten-free baking is everything has to be exact or it throws off the whole recipe. Like nothing will test your patience more than gluten-free baking, nothing. Okay, the best part about making vegan cookie dough is 
you can eat it raw and not wonder if you're gonna have to poop your pants later, you know? Mm. Here's what it looks like. All ready to go. Scoop up some dough, take it over to the tray. Oh, and then I just press it down with my hand, like so. And then I just move on. And we'll put this in there too. And then I move on. And I'll show you what the end looks like. Here's what they look like, fingerprints and all. Look glorious. All right, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna transfer them with my bachelor eventually, once he's cooled down, onto a uh, one, a cooling sheet thing, you know what I'm saying, rack, whatever it is, and that's what we'll do. All right, here we're while we're back. And we're feeling like a total zombie right now, but I need to finish these. I want to finish, I don't need to, but I wanna finish these cookies because tomorrow, Christmas Eve, I just wanna relax. And I, got, I have some gifts to wrap, that's pretty much it. Pretty much my only plan for tomorrow, other than tomorrow at four o'clock, we're going to my mom's. And we're gonna have our shrimp boil that we do every single year. We've done it every single year since I was a little kid. We do this big shrimp boil and all this food and it's gonna be good. And it's gonna be Lucian's first Christmas. So I'm all excited. And then Christmas day, we are, what are we doing Christmas day? We're going over to my, oh, we're doing Christmas morning here. Just our little family. And then we're going to my brother's at noon to do gifts with my nieces. And then we're doing, what are we doing with on, oh, and then at four o'clock, my dad and my stepmom, my stepbrother, and my stepsister-in-law are all coming over. And we're doing a little gift exchange with my dad and my stepmom. And that is, I think, our Christmas. That's what we're going to be doing. Right now, we're finishing these freaking cookies. So we're doing the whole chocolate part like the top of the thin mint. So we have the cookie done. We're now doing the melted chocolate on top and or just like the chocolate coating, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Stir this with our little skeleton spoon. Why not? Just stirring these chocolate chips over medium heat. Maybe I need to turn down a little bit. I don't want to burn these at all. That'd be the worst. Oh shoot, I gotta get my peppermint extract ready. I've got my peppermint flavor is what it's called. This is the one without the alcohol in it. I like the one without the alcohol because I feel like the alcohol dries out my chocolate and makes it all weird. But anyways, I'm just stirring up this chocolate until it melts. And then we're gonna dip these cookies into the chocolate and hope for the best. I cannot believe we're already basically to Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve Eve. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's flown by so fast. And I'm so glad I'm not alone on this because in the comment section of my last vlogmas video other people were saying even without kids like with or without kids you feel like this year has flown by you can't believe it's already basically christmas and none of us are ready or decorated or anything we're all tired and feel like we've been run over by reindeer a hundred times so i feel like we're all feeling similar vibes which I feel better about so thank you for making me feel better about that because i was struggling i'm still struggling who are we kidding can i just take this and dip it in and then that's what it looks like and then i put it over here on this tray this is not the tray i wanted to use but here we are hey, just a season. what do you got is that your pineapple yum is Santa coming tonight? Santa Claus? <laughs> Yum! Nothing like a pineapple at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you practicing your crawling? There you go. Here. Here. There you go. What do you got? Merry Christmas! Tell them. Say Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> hey everyone, we're back. I went ahead, washed my hair, and got like not really ready, just washed my hair basically. I think it's like 12 30. We're gonna wrap at least one present. I just need to wrap my mom's at least. Because uh we're not doing Christmas with my stepmom or my nieces until tomorrow. So um we're at least just gonna wrap this one gift. <laughs> From my mom and hope we at least get that done i'm gonna show you what it is really quickly like my mom my mother-in-law my stepmom we got them all these canvases of little baby lucian look at this picture of him just hamming it up i was watching this tiktok of this girl wrapping presents 
and then her mom wrapping presents with her. And it was like, she was carefully taking forever to wrap this gift that ended up looking like absolute trash, which is accurate to my life. And then her mom is just like, and like throws the gift and it looks perfect. That's pretty much my mom. But also she's a Virgo, so I'm gonna blame it on that. I feel like they don't give you as much wrapping paper as they used to. Did anyone else notice that this year? I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough wrapping paper for everything. That's weird. Like I've only wrapped one other present and I have to be strategic about it because apparently they give you a sliver of wrapping paper to work with now. Jeez Louise. I feel like everyone's just trying to pull your pants down these days. Anyway, now that we've had our rant, hopefully we have enough wrapping paper to wrap 2.5 gifts. Anyways, so, oh, I meant to mention, because as I was responding to some comments on the first Vlogmas, I think, some of you were asking about Lucian's heart. I mentioned his heart medication. This is ridiculous, come on. I do have a little bit of an update on what's been going on. So if you're new here, or you just didn't catch those videos, Lucian was born with this rapid heartbeat thing. It's not all the time, it's just randomly, his heart will go into, it's called SVT, and his heart will go into this rapid heartbeat, and it is, like, it sounds wild. Like, it sounds like, it, it's unlike anything I've ever heard in my life. And he had an episode a couple months, like, well, when he was a couple months old, and then he hasn't had an episode since. Well, he had his first episode right out of the womb, Dallas and Lucian were doing skin to skin. The nurse was like, let me listen to that one more time. She listened to his heart and then all these nurses and doctors came running in and took him away. And so he was swept off to the NICU and they he was in there for a week trying to figure out this SVT thing and if he was able to come out of it on his own. Also, if he was gonna need medication and the dosage and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, he's been on medication ever since. And he's on his final dose of medication because he hasn't had any episodes since he was like two months old or something. So he, they increased his dose all the way to six months and they are not going to increase it now at all. So we're gonna let him basically grow out of his dose and we're gonna see if he goes back into SVT or if he's able to come off of his meds completely and grows, because I guess a lot of babies grow out of it and they never have an episode ever again. So we're hoping for that. If not, a lot of people live, like some, some of you in the comments have told me that you have SVT and you live a fulfilling life with SVT. And, and there's like a procedure you can do, this ablation procedure or something, but we haven't really talked about it with our doctor much because she's kind of hoping we just don't even get to that point. I don't know, but we're just waiting. We just check his heart rate. We have a little outlet thing that attaches to his foot where we can see his heart rate at night. And so far we haven't really seen anything or come across any rapid heartbeats, but we're hoping for the best as he grows out of this medication. Anyways, that's kind of the update. We have, he's still on medication three times a day. Every eight hours he has to take it. And then um, he's basically, wait. I don't think I have enough freaking wrapping paper, everybody. Well, all right, saved by some Christmas bags that I saved that look basically brand new. Uh, and the girls love Nightmare Before Christmas. So here we go. I have, oh, he has another little bag. Uh, we're going to put their gifts in these bags, thankfully, because we have zero wrapping paper. What a disappointment. Seriously, now I know. I get like 30 freaking rolls of this just to wrap two gifts. Uh, I got these at Target, by the way. What a rip off. Okay. Anyways, so for my seven-year-old niece... I got these, I guess she loves these books. She checked one out from the library and now she's all excited. She's super into chapter books. This Layla and the Bots. So I got her the whole set. And then I also got her this cute little reading light bookmark situation. It's a little uh, unicorn. And then she can attach it to her books and read at night and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I got her that. 
I got my other niece. She's super into Barbie right now. She's four. So I got her this color reveal Barbie where you get like, it's like a mystery. You don't know what Barbie you're getting. So that's exciting. I feel like for a four year old, maybe. Uh, and then I got her this, like a couple little Barbie outfit set things. This one is like a Barbie at the beach kind of situation, a bathing suit, a beach bag, and some sunglasses and stuff, I think flip flops. And then uh, this one, this back to school situation with a backpack and glasses and notebook and all these cute little things. So I got her these. And the cousins, well, I mean, I didn't get her these. Lucian got her these. That's what, what happened. So this is the cousin gift exchange that we're doing. And which is exciting, it's our very first one. And yeah, that's what, and I also have this tissue paper that I put in there. So, Y'all, wait, you know what? I wanna get my back tissue paper out of here. This. That's cute, right? Maybe? Wait, I forgot to put a bow on this guy. Cute little bow on top. So I bought all these bows for no reason because we didn't wrap anything. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that. <laughs> I just can't believe how they skip. What is that? Right, for a second, I was like, is there a wasp carcass on my floor? But I think it's just like a fuzzy thing. Or I don't know, maybe it is a wasp carcass, but I don't think so. I don't know why I'd be in here, but... Here we are with our irrational fears taking over. Okay, I'm gonna put this sticky bow on. This is real hard work right here. Ta-da! Done. And I'm gonna throw away this trash and then I gotta get this stuff together. So I'll be right back. So right now we're packing up our pickle tray to go. I have to make some decisions on what I'm using in my pickle tray. Cause I only have this guy here, this cute little situation where you can put like pickles in this like you can keep them separated and their juices separated that sounded weird but anyways um i have a couple of different options i didn't know what to include i have I have these jalapeno and garlic stuffed green olives these are always good i have let's see of course the baby dills have these and i have some black olives which we're definitely putting that in there. And then, okay, so here's my dilemma. Do we go with good old green olives, just plain, no jalapenos, nothing intense like the other ones, uh, and they're smaller, or do we go with something different, like these hot, you know I love these. If you've been around here, then you know, or if you know, you know, because these are so good. These uh, Taka Texas crisp okra pickles, these hot ones, these are so freaking good. I feel like we need to bring these, right? And then we can just have these at home because I eat these like candy. And then I can just put these in here. I feel like they're gonna be a really good addition to everything. Plus, we already have green olives. They just are stuffed with different stuff. That's my decision, I'm sticking to it. So now I gotta go up and get ready. Well, I gotta try to get Lucian down for a nap. Fingers crossed, we get a nap today. And then I gotta try to do something with this. All right, I totally forgot to film on the way here, but we're here. Merry Christmas, everybody. We made it. What do you have in here? What do you have in here? We got some things that hang, I think, from something. I think from your... Oh, Look, it's a banana. It looks like a lion. <laughs> oh, sweet. Do we just put it on the... I'll put it on the sack, okay? Or wait, do we put it on here? Yeah. Empty, okay. You can actually empty, empty all that and then get yeah, the bottom of something. That looks good. Oh, Your Reese's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So soft. Yeah, it is soft. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Look at that, Lucian. He was showing off for he said, look at my gift. Look at this. Oh, 
We love your sweater too. Yeah, I was going to say, you can. So yeah, rough. and you're Listen. drooling and drooling with those yes. teeth. Yes, you are. You're laughing so hard. <laughs> that's pretty cool, Lucian. Just say thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. No, is, it, is it on? Good. Can you no, push the buttons? No. Okay, I, you got to. You can turn it. Is there a battery? No. Oh my Get heavens! It, buddy. Wait, that that I haven't seen it. I'm gonna probably cry. <laughs> oh. oh. Look at him. Oh, it's you, buddy. Thank you. The tables look so pretty, Mom. Thank you. Your mom's tomorrow? Oh, no. no. You know you're going to go to Poles in that minute. Table number two. Mmm. Mmm. What does? Oh. Mmm. Oh, They're delicious. Oh, what is that? Mmm. You know this. All right, here, when we're back home. Got means here. We're getting ready to uh, get all Lucian's toys out and put them around the Christmas tree and get everything all ready for tomorrow. We had so much fun at my mom's house. We ate food. Lucian played and played and played some more. He is completely crashed out. He crashed out on the way home. Now we're just hanging out here, right, Means? Oh, wait. Are we going to set that out? Yeah, we got Lucian this bat puppet. How cute. Hmm. What did we name him? I think his name is Ren. Oh, no, no, no. Barnab Barnabas the Bat. Barnabas the Bat, that's right. I'm Barnabas the Bat. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the toys we got Lucian for he Christmas. Loves he loves puppets. Loves puppets. Anytime a puppet comes on TV, he wants to watch that puppet. So we have a wizard puppet that we already got for him. And then we got him the Barnabas the Bat is what we're calling him. Uh, and I'll link it in the description if we're looking for it because we found it on Amazon. And uh, yeah, anyways, Dallas is bringing up the toys. We're going to start setting them out. I cannot wait for Lucian to see all of his toys. I'll put them here. Yeah, the top. Okay, okay. Okay, well, show me. Turn it around. It's, okay. I don't, okay, wait. We'll see if the light up stuff. The orange button. The orange note. See where it lights up? No. Not right here. Yeah. This cute little carrot teether. And also these cute little rattles I thought would be cute in a stocking. We also have this whole set with the whole stacker, ring stacker, shape sorter, xylophone set. Classic Fisher Price items. And this is cool. Wait, what's this? Hmm. Is this turn into a truck or something? Uh, we'll probably just arrange it later. Oh, shit. Rebel, what? No. I don't know what the heck an axle is. Is this an axle? Okay, axle people know. What a freaking axle is. Hmm. Merry Christmas, everybody. We made it. Uh, <laughs> oh, good morning. Merry Christmas. It is Vlogmas, day 25. We're hanging on by a thread, but here we are. What? Oh, it's just my Amazon device telling me that it's time to order my gluten-free Oreos again. <laughs> Lucian woke up at midnight, 4.30 and 6. And I just couldn't do Christmas at that time. <laughs> I know when he gets older and he is going to want to, you know, run downstairs and run to the presents and see what Santa left and all that. I know I'm not going to have a choice. But right now, this in these first few years... I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit of a choice. So I was like, we'll just wait until his, after his eight o'clock nap. So he's taking a nap right now. And then when he wakes up, we're gonna do Christmas. And uh, so I'm gonna make some coffee and then I'm probably gonna have a cookie for breakfast. Cause who are we kidding? It's Christmas. And then, um, I don't know what my excuse is every other day, but here we are. Anyways, we had a great Christmas Eve with family. It was really nice. The martini was delicious. It was strong. 
but delicious. <laughs> um, it was like a peppermint martini and Dallas had made them for everybody and they were very strong, very strong. Like, I don't know, sir, if you're trying to have another baby with me or something with this martini. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> but no, maybe that's just me wishful thinking, even though I'm like <laughs> ungodly on another, like can't even speak. I almost said on another world, <laughs> on another level, on another planet, tired right now. But somehow, some way, I'm like, do you think you maybe wanna have another baby this year? Like, you know, not this year, obviously. Time's running out, tick tock. I can't really, you know, have a baby in a week. But you know what I mean, like next year. And I feel like I'm absolutely crazy for saying that, but then also I'm like, but, it's so good, but it's also so exhausting, but so good. <laughs> we'll see where the spooky wind blows us. I don't know. Let me move this with me. I don't know. I don't know. But also, what? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love. Merry Christmas means. Lucian. <gasps> Merry Christmas, bud. Merry first Christmas. Where are look at all them toys. What, bud? Who came? Did Santa come? What, bud? Wow. Look at all those toys. <laughs> Listen. That's my toe. Who wants that? Job, there you bud. go, bud. Hey, Lucian. <laughs> what are you doing? Yay! <laughs> there you go, Lucian. Good job. Good boy. Yeah. All right, here, everyone. We have already been to my brother's. We're now back at my house trying to get ready for my dad and my stepmom, my stepbrother, and my stepsister in law. And I think. Everything's ready-ish. Maybe. I might be ready for a beverage. Uh, Dallas is over here, hold on. Dallas is over here playing with Lucian. We've got the whole setup. Over here, we've got the snacks. We're just doing finger foods, hors d'oeuvre kind of situations. So we've got the relish tray with my dill pickles only. Got an onion dip, veggie tray, ranch. Got a street corn dip from Oh, where's it from? Aldi. And then this spinach artichoke dip that I got from Costco and warmed it up and called it a day. This is first time mom Christmas vibes. <laughs> Say ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. You're not happy? Okay. Yummy? Yeah. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas, means. Hey everyone, and happy 2024. It is officially 2024, and Vlogmas is over. It's been over. Uh, Bagul is just now wrapping up editing this Vlogmas. Basically, after Christmas, this whole household, everyone except for Needs, got sick. Um, and I feel like we all started feeling better today. We're not 100%. We're all still kind of congested, if you can hear it. Um, but we're feeling better, at least. Uh, we're, we're over that hump. But um, it was a rough couple of days. I'm not going to lie. First time with a sick baby, and it was not ideal. Do not recommend. Zero out of 10 recommend. Negative 100 out of 10 <laughs> recommend. Um pretty much been getting up every hour on the hour every single night it's been so it's been hard to get over this because it's hard to get better when you're not sleeping you know anyways so I'm now editing this vlogmas and wanted to come on here and give a proper send-off and say happy new year happy 2024 we have arrived now I can officially say it's another day in 2024 paradise <laughs> um, and I also wanted to show you 
my mantle this year because I never got around to posting the mantle decorating video for the holidays. It just got too late in the game and editing has been a struggle this year. It's one thing that I'm hoping in the new year I can get a better schedule going. Um, but that's besides the point. I wanted to show you the mantle, the holiday mantle before I take everything down. I'm super bummed because I, I put a garland up on my mantle this year and I put some twinkle lights on it. Freaking twinkle lights burn out after like, I don't know, like a week. And I was like, I'm not taking all these twinkle lights off or changing all the little teeny tiny batteries. If you know, you know, I'm like I'm not doing it. All right, so here's how my mantle turned out this year. So imagine twinkle lights on the garland and how pretty that would look because <laughs> they're not there. But um, this is the mantle. It's kind of like a dark woodland theme, which I feel like we did a couple of years ago, but it, it didn't look anything like this a couple of years ago. But and I also kept my crows out from Halloween got these from at home this year so here's the full mantle area and then you see the new christmas tree this year and some toys over there just ignore those oh i also wanted to show you my little haunted mansion area all lit up all my little haunted mansion ornaments i showed you earlier and the haunted mansion itself so i didn't put it on a tree because i kind of thought like i usually do my harry potter area over here i'll show you like, I have my Harry Potter bar over here with my Hogwarts castle and everybody, the whole crew is here. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something similar, but with the Haunted Mansion over here. So that's kind of what I did. And it's kind of a cute little corner. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to be taking all this down over the next couple of days because the holidays are over. It is officially 2024. And I'm not going to lie, getting sick kind of threw a little wrench in the end of the year. I kind of wanted to soak it all up and enjoy it and... <laughs> so much for that but that's all right it happens if you're also sick out there i'm sending some healing vibes your way and hope you get better soon because man there's nothing worse than being sick around the holiday season so anyways we're on the mend into the new year so i hope you're having an amazing new year so far anyways thank you again for hanging out with us here uh during vlogmas and yeah i'm looking forward to 2024 and what it has in store for us. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments, anything we talked about throughout the video, or maybe you're also sick and just want to show some solidarity, that too. Or maybe you just want to say happy new year or say happy new year to Mr. Skeleton because you know, he's having the, the time of his life out in the garage. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.